Just want to get a sense of, I, I know it's just two practices in from a long, grueling couple of weeks ahead, but just sort of what's this group like? What do you sense this group can do? What's the attitude of this group? What might be some special features when we watch Summer League we'll see from this group? Um, you know, I, I do like the way we're coming together. Um, you know, we had, we had a good session this morning, both offensively and defensively. So, you know, you're just trying to build. We had two practices, three this morning. So just trying to build some continuity. Um, we have a little bit more older group this year than we had last. So, um, you know, a lot of times what that means is guys who have come in from, you know, other places where you're trying to build your, you know, some of what you want to do system wise um, and what we do. So, um, but they're actually picking things up pretty quick. So um, I think just, you know, with our guys, um, you know, Javante, Mike and, and, and H, um, you know, right now those guys have a pretty, you have a pretty good grasp, obviously, on what we try to do on both ends of the floor. So we're kind of just riding them as, as sort of, you know, to drive the leadership on the court, obviously off the court, but on the court, guys, they're doing a great job of kind of getting guys settled in their spots offensively. And um, and they're picking it up, you know, they're picking it up and how we want to play. So um, defensively, we've got the ingredients to be pretty good, I think. Um, we've got some... You know, we got some length and um, you know some 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 toughness, and um, you know, so I think we're definitely carry that uh, carry that with us into into the summer league. I mean, we should. So, uh, defo- and defo- yeah. I'm sorry to follow it up with with another question. Um, how much of this is things that Spo says he wants to see from players, or 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 Coach Riley? Or, or, or the front office? In other words, can you see if player X can do, you know, skill A? How much of it is that? Or how much of it is just telling players to go out and just be their best selves? And then you judge from that if they perhaps meet a needed heat skill set. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think I think that's probably a little bit more, you know, be the best version of themselves. I mean, that's how you really sort of evaluate guys, um, you know, and even the guys who we have, um, they've been working, you um, you know, they've been working to build up for this and working on their games, but, you know, they have a pretty good idea of what, you know, they, some of their goals and what they want to accomplish. And, and, you know, the only way you do that is be the best version of yourself, you know, in terms of how you, you attack, you know, the practices each day and they've been great with it. Um, I don't necessarily get a whole lot just in terms of like, I want to see X, Y, Z on the court from, you know, H, or, you know, Mike Mulder, you know, those guys, you know, I think there's a, there's a respect there, you know, and they know, you know, what, what we kind of are looking for and that play, play to who they are as players and, and people, you know, that's why they're with us, you know, so you want to, you know, you want to have, have them have confidence to do that uh, instead of trying to maybe try to mold them into something a little bit different than what, what they are or change them. You know, they're with us for, you know, who they are as people and players and the potential that they have to keep growing in that. All right, up next, we have Anthony Chiang, Miami Hero. Go ahead. Hey, Malik. Um, okay. okay. Um, with Nicola, what what, are, what have you learned about him, the basketball player, I guess, in these first two days? I know it's been a short time. Um, and kind of what's been your message to him um, just with the quick turnarounds, you know, 19 years old as he prepares for his first bit of NBA experience? Yeah, um, he he really he's got a good feel for the game, um, you know, um, offensively and defensively he, he he does well. He's learning, but you know when you talk to him, you don't get the sense that it's totally foreign what you're you know what you're trying to teach him, you know. So which is which is a really positive sign, um, you know. He's, he he does he's he's got a good personality, good spirit. You know, he is competitive. Um, you know, and, and, you know, but he's young, but, you know, it's good when you have that competitive spirit, obviously, because it just gives you faith that he's going to keep getting better and driving. So, um, you know, but he's, he does, he's, he's, he's got a really good feel for the game offensively in terms of just, you know, he doesn't force things. He moves, you know, anytime you need to move the ball, he's got a good feel of just moving the ball. Um, he can put the ball on the floor and attack, uh, you know, which is encouraging for a young guy. He's not afraid to, you know, to put the ball on the floor and, and get to the try to get to the rim, take contact, um, you know, and, and he's going to have the ability to shoot it. So, um, 
you know, he's a really, he, and he's, and he's a really good kid. He's, he's, you know, he's ex- what you expect at a 19 year old. He's ambitious, but he's, he's youthful. Um, you know, he wants to be good and you can tell he's just taking everything in right now. Um, and it's a little bit of a lot, but that's, you know, it, that's how it is when you're young, you know, you're a young player uh, coming into the league. And I want to ask about Haywood, uh, you know, obviously you know, you guys know him a good amount at this point. W- what are some parts of his skill set that you want him to get to a little bit more um, during summer league, just with more reps and more playing time that he's going to get? Um, I think he has a good, he has a good idea. I mean, the big thing for him is, um, you know, we know who he is as a defender. I think offensively, um, don't force anything, you know, uh, you know, the big thing for him is let's just, you know, let's play to your strengths, which is he's a very good shooter. He's a very good cutter. Um, I think, think he can, you know, make some plays and initiate a little bit of offense, but he really is, he's got a skill for making your offense work, you know, when he's out there. So, um, you know, he, he, cause he really picked up on following, you know, the guys we had in front of him. He, you know, he's an intelligent, he's an intelligent, really intelligent guy. So, um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing. This isn't like a, a situation where we're, uh, you know, we're, we're looking for him to go out and, and, and score 25 or 30, you know, that's gonna, you know, that, you know, he, he know, and I think he knows that I'm sure he would like to score 25 or 30, you know, if he did, I wouldn't mind it either, but, you know, the big thing for him is just that where, you know, how the offense works and functions when he's out there. He's a big catalyst for, for how that's going to, um, you know, drive our success the next couple of weeks. All right, up next, we have Cooper Moorhead, heat.com. Go ahead. Hey, Malik, hope you're doing well. Um, hey. Just again on Nicola, is is this a case right now with him of, of trying to, because there is so much of trying to keep it simple, especially with his role in games, or are you, thinking he's going to be getting some on-ball reps and trying to learn, you know, NBA level or at least summer league level playmaking too, in terms of what you're going to be asking him to do. Um, you know, put the ball in his hand. Yeah. You know, it's, he, he's, um, because he can tell he's, he's not just a guy who's going to like try to, you know, go get his, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's got some unselfishness and he knows how to make plays. He's got, like I said, he's got a good feel for the game on the offensive end. Um, so yeah, he's, he, he's going to get the ball in his hands. Um, you know, it's him, and he'll have opportunities to, um, you know, to showcase that, you know, that's, that's sort of who he is, at least what we've seen so far. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid to put the ball in his hands at all. I, I, from what I've seen, I, I like, um, you know, I like how he's played, you know, cause he's, he's played the game the right way. And then up, up, uh, with a, yeah. just one more. Yeah. Um, I, I know you're not going to have Omer. He's not going to be playing for another week or so, but because, you know, he is one of your regular guys throughout the regular season too. Um, what is your, what is your summer plan for Omer in terms of what you want him working on in, in the time that you'll have him on and off the court? Um, you know, the, the first part, you know, the first part is, you know, is, is getting him here and, and and sort of getting him, getting him integrated. I think it goes just, you know, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, when Oak gets here, we want to see him shoot like six threes a game, I don't know, you know, but, um, you know, the big thing is just for him to continue to get time, you know, um, continue to get time, get comfortable playing, um, you know, um, the physical part of the game, you know, the rest sort of falls in place for him, you know, I don't have like a checklist of things, you know, to, to you know, he has continued to work on his finishing and, and getting a little bit more efficient, which I think throughout the course he did in the year he did, um, you know, but I think the, the big thing with him is just an opportunity to continue to play is what he really, really needs. I think a lot of things fall into place for him um, and getting to play at our level, um, you know, in an intensity level, um, you know, where he can continue to keep growing, you know, and I think, you know, that's really what he needs. You know, it's, it's, it's not like a, a summer checklist of, of, of two to three things skill wise. You know, I think it, those things will come because he's so talented offensively, you know, it's just time of, of playing basketball on the court, you know, is really what he needs. All right, up next, we have uh, Wes Goldberg locked on heat. Go ahead. Hey, Malik, um, 
Coop asked about um, Omer, and I was going to ask about him, but kind of looking at him, uh, Mike, uh, Haywood, like some of these guys that you had on the roster last year, um, is the message to them almost like, hey, this is kind of like an extended training camp for you. This is an opportunity for you to maybe carve out a role going in next year. Like what kind of is the messaging to those guys versus some of these other rookies who are just sort of trying to latch on in the league? Um. Yeah, I, I listen, if, if you're, if, you know, we're being honest, there's, you know, there's, the, you know, this is important time for those guys, you know, it's not it, it, it just, just for their development. Again, sort of like, you know, with Omer, I just said, you know, H needs time on the court, you know, Mike needs time um, going the floor. And this is just a great opportunity for them to go out and, and play um, and play to their strengths, um, you know, and the things that they've been working on um, within the system. I, I think that, um, you know, they, um, they've been great at it. You know, those, those guys, number one, their leadership's just been great in terms of just Mike and, and, and H in particular. Um, they've really sort of embraced that role. Even Javante to a certain extent, I, I, I haven't really spoke about him, but those guys in particular, just in, in, since we've gotten here, have been really, really good. Um, and that's part of it. You know, that's part of what it should be, you know, when you come to summer league and you've been a part of a team for a year, um, or, you know, a couple months, you know, going into an off season, you know, like Mike, um, you know, there's just more than just going out there and, and scoring, you know, I, I think the, the leadership part actually helps you know, other parts of your game grow to the next level. Um, and we've done it. Um, so, but yeah, that, that time on the floor is, you know, it's important for those guys to be able to keep, to keep building and establishing themselves as, as, as pros, you know, and then I have an opportunity you know, to get time on the floor next year. I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of what we do, you know. This is the Big O Show. This is the 